going on ladies and gents, Taylor here, and today I will be showing you my infinite rocket machine. I'd just like to say first of all, you will need an update suppressor, I'm using the CCE suppressor, which stands for class cast exception suppression, but you will also need a way to reintroduce shadow items. I use anti-shadow patch, uh, it's just one that got recommended to me and I've basically been using it for uh, about a month or two now and it's amazing. It adds fast cast exception suppression, it adds stack overflow, it adds um, item shadowing from 1.17 or 1.18, whichever method you want to use, and it also brings back the god part built in survival. We'll start off here. We have the suppressor, we have a comparator, we have a trapdoor that opens and closes and that's what performs the suppression for item shadow. This lever locks the hopper so you can create the shadow stack. This is our storage for rockets. Up here just above we've got our auto crafter. Flight duration 1 rockets is the best and probably is enough for the majority of the players. And then we have a comparator reading signal that's also locked by this hopper. And when you take out, when it gets low enough, it turns off this comparator because it gets locked by this, which turns on the redstone torch, powering our hop clock, our observer clock over here which is on a 3 redstone tick delay, could be on a 2 redstone tick delay, I just found that a 3 tick delay works best for it not to break. Just above that we have the, um, the emergency stop for when it is out of items, so you can see if I take all these out, these one of these torches turns on, it just takes one of them to run out, for the machine to block off the redstone and stop. Which means you've run out of rockets, you go back to your base and you go off it. That works for both of the items. Um, this one's for paper, but you have probably noticed that you put sugar cane up here. That's because of this craft, which we'll talk about next. This crafter has the same detection system. I will just add that both of these have 24 non-stackable items. You could add 24 stacks of items. 24 non-stackables just gives out the same signal. Which then locks this comparator, turning on the redstone torch. That's of course when this is low, same as the other one. Which turns on our hopper clock up here. And then when it gets to here, it sends a pulse. One redstone tick delay is enough. Any more than that and it could break. Whereas with that one it doesn't. And then the auto goes into the auto crafter. I also just realised we do not need those two anymore. We actually can have a full block there. And then up here we have the shulker box loaders. One for gunpowder and one for sugarcane. These are designed by Samus the Sage, and I will link his YouTube down below. So that's basically it for the machine. Uh, if you do want to build this, I will leave a schematic down below and uh, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye!